Good morning. morning from the Cape. Sydney and I are here on a New England road trip that we are doing this summer over the course of a week and a half and we are in the Cape. We are setting up for a beach day today. We had a beach day yesterday. I will have Sydney show you my back later because I, for whatever reason, didn't put any sunscreen on my back. So the UV's not high enough. Maybe I won't flip onto my back and I am fried. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm wearing today and we got our snacks and we're getting ready to go to the grocery store to pick up some brunch, lunch, sandwich and head to the beach in Chatham. So this is the fit. My bathing suit is from Bikbok, which I got in Norway. The shorts are Dr. Denim on Revolve. They're like literally the only ones that I wear. This little button up is from Ross actually and then Lululemon belt bag and just cute little Tory Burch pink sandals. Sydney, oh. do you want to do your outfit? This is from Aerie and then I think my bottom, my black bottoms are Hurley and then I have a black triangle top. I think they're Hurley as well. Cute. Oh, and then this beach oh. bag. I think it's from Nordstrom. Yeah. I got it on sale. So I am obsessed with her beach bag. And then and I've got the bag of snacks. We of course had to buy Cape Cod chips because we're on the Cape. Uh -huh. And then we both have some waters and a little fruit thing. And then this is my hat. So we are gonna get going to the beach. Stopping to attempt to get a beach umbrella because I burned myself yesterday. So we are at Cape Cod Beach Chair Company. You guys, look at how cute this umbrella they gave us is. I can't wait to set it up and show you. It's blue and white striped with fringe on it. They had a pink version in the store that they were selling, so we asked for like, oh my gosh, it could match my little top, but they didn't. But we got the blue and we're totally fine with that. Now we're getting on our way to a stop and shop, which is just a grocery store up here, and we're going to get some sandwiches. I'm gonna grab a Celsius because we didn't bring the Celsius because we got a lot of sleep last night. We are in the Cape yesterday. We woke up early, did the drive, did a full day at the beach and everything, so we were exhausted last night and we got so much sleep, And um, but I think I still need a Celsius. I didn't want to bring one of the ones that I had because I was like oh I don't need it I got so much sleep and I'm already yawning so stop and shop it is we're gonna go get some sandwiches some drinks stuff and uh, bring it to the beach with our cute little beach umbrella we found the stop and shop you ready for a sandwich yes you guys they have so many different flavors of these flow water bottles that Norwegian has on their cruise ships I've never seen all these flavors only ever had these plain ones on Norwegian but look at this Okay, successful shopping trip. Got some aloe, after sun, a sandwich, a little protein bar, whatever. I was asked not to film in the store. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm just vlogging. Cause he's like, are you here with the company? And I was like, no. <laughs> so I'm just doing YouTube. He's like, oh, can you not? I was like, okay, sorry. Uh, so we are getting on our way to the beach now in Chatham. And we are going to be having ourselves a beach day with my beach umbrella. <laughs> I'm not a parallel parker. I've never claimed to be, but I think I did a pretty good job with this rental car down the street. We're gonna just check out downtown Chatham before we go to the beach because I don't know if you can tell, it's a little foggy over here. Look how adorable this is. And we just saw somebody with a little like, Blitzer bag. Oh my so, gosh. Um, so cute. Oh, this is the one that <gasps> Shut up, it's so cute. I found the homeland. If you've been here since the beginning, I used to work at Lily Pulitzer and I went to college for marketing because I wanted to run their marketing team. And they have the cutest little store here. And now we're gonna go shopping for some sweatshirts. Oh, Gracie. Oh my gosh. This yellow one is really cute. Uh, I actually really love that. You guys, look at what they have here. It's called Art in the Park and they've got all of these whales that are designed by artists all throughout here look at these i am oh my gosh there's so many cute ones look at this is stained glass wow this is awesome there's so many okay we're gonna stop in the lily store for old time's sake how cute we popped our heads in the lily Blitzer store y'all it is so you in here. I love it. It's bringing me back. I'm also obsessed with this print. I just can't justify buying anything without my employee discount that I used to get, but I do love to look. 
Thank you. Yeah. Quick pit stop at the car that I parallel parked yeah. so well. I got my beach chair, the beach snacks and drinks. Sydney's got the towels. And we are gonna go find ourselves a spot on the beach. I think it's a little bit of a walk, but we don't mind. The weather's fine outside and we're gonna go get some UV. Okay, we've made it to some pedestrian beach access. Oh, lovely. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Just got the little beach umbrella set up. How cute is this? It's definitely still a little foggy, but this is gonna keep me out of the UV for my back. Sitting on the beach, got my umbrella, just opened up my sandwich from the grocery store, and washing it down with Celsius. Pretty ideal day for me, and I will be here all day. Well, would you look at that? The fog cleared up, and you can see over to the other side. There's definitely like a little island or something over here. Definitely some land. Looks so much prettier out now. I took some pictures with the Cape Cod chips under this umbrella. I'm tanning my front, so I don't want to be under the umbrella just yet. But I'm going to transfer them over from this camera to my phone. I don't typically take pictures on this camera and post them on Instagram. Usually I just do it with my phone. But lately I've just been feeling like my phone quality is not the best. I have to kind of look into it. So hopefully the photos will turn out good on here. So we're just snacking on some chips. Oh, come here comes a little boat. See, now you can really see the boats that are out here. Anyway, so we are just getting a tan. I am reading a book on my Kindle. We're eating our chips. We've got some fruit, water, Celsius, and just hanging out for the afternoon. Feel in my coastal grandmother era, just like coming to the Cape and sitting on the beach and getting a tan in. Like, it's just, it's so peaceful. I love it. The water level is coming up. I can't even believe it. Like, it's really not far from us, and it's gone totally foggy. Like, we can't even see these people. There's all these people down over on the beach over here that you can't even see. But the UV is still high. We're still having a good time. I'm not under my umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I've also just been like laying on my back the whole time and tanning my stomach, which is not red and have a ton of sunscreen on. But we've been just enjoying our time chit-chatting about our summer travel plans after these travel plans that we're on right now and just kind of talking about life. Sydney, I don't know, can I announce this? Sure. Sydney is moving to Tampa. End of August, so we're very excited because you guys know I'm gonna be moving to Tampa um, whenever I can figure that out. But, 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 all of September I hope to be in Tampa, so we're gonna be by each other and we're just excited. So, we're just talking about all kinds of things about life and everything. It's just so great, although, definitely, there are people probably eavesdropping on our conversations, but that's okay. Mm. Maybe around three o'clock. We're not sure. We haven't looked at our phones, but we have decided to leave the beach Head up to maybe go look at some of the very fancy houses that we're obsessed with back in the car Walk back up to Main Street and go get the car. It was a nice time at the beach We said we probably were there for two and a half hours or so just a good coastal grandmother beach time in the Cape Looking back this pedestrian little path that we found over by Avola is the name what I love Oh my gosh Every cute little house that we've been driving by has a name and it's so cute Like I think my favorite little house the name was Red Rest ashore. Like how cute is that? Just like how stinging cute are these houses on Main Street? It's literally adorable. Well, it's been a little second. We got the car and we drove half an hour up to a city we believe is pronounced Hyannis. Yes. H-Y-A-N-N-I-S. We just found a free parking spot on the street. I parallel parked again. Actually, really, there were two spots open, so I just kind of like pulled in and backed up, but still. And we are just gonna explore the downtown, walk around, maybe get some dinner around here later, because I think it's almost five o'clock. Yeah, it's 4.50, and we're just gonna kind of explore this city. It's one of the bigger cities on the Cape, and it's a little farther south than where we're staying in Dennis, so it's just perfect. We shouldn't be too far away from our hotel whenever we're ready to go back, but it was just darling so far. You guys, I was so caught up in the experience <laughs> that we did a vlog our time in Smith Family Popcorn City. Tell them all about it. Big popcorn fan. Had to go in. There's all sorts of flavors. There was like taco. She tried dill pickle. We I landed Birthday on cake. cinnamon toast. Which tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah. On a she pop got dye. cookies and cream. I landed on cookies and cream. I really wanted dill pickle, but here's the thing. If I saw Sydney snacking on sweet popcorn, I'd be jealous and I'd want sweet popcorn because we have so many other salty items and Sydney doesn't like dill pickle, so it's not like we were gonna switch back and forth. So I landed on cookies and cream, which is also amazing, and I think we're gonna end up kind of splitting our yeah. sweet flavors. And then you got to spin a, wheel. spin a wheel, and Sydney got a small bag. Mine landed on large bag, but I think he said it's, it's just like, like not that much. <laughs> yeah, just like a better popcorn, but that was from a 
Smith family popcorn oh, here in Oh, and then we Iowa. got to donate money to um, like a charity. charity. I did a vacation home for people with cancer, like kids with cancer, and then you did ALS. An ALS foundation. There were two that you could choose from, so when Cindy chose that one, I was like, you know what, I'll choose the ALS one. Like, that's fun that you kind of get to give back with purchase of a little popcorn so that was really fun now i think we're heading back to the car to drive it and repark it somewhere closer to dinner or a dinner spot we were only in two hour parking so i was like mm, i'm worried about leaving it there as we walk to dinner eat come back that's probably gonna be two hours in and of itself so we're gonna go grab the car maybe pop into some other stores if there are any on the way back and go grab some drinks and dinner. We got in the car, drove around a little bit, and found this cute place just right off the main street called Baxter's Fish and Chips. So we are here. We're hoping to get some outdoor seating and just like a cute little cocktail. I'm also not dressed for like a super fancy dinner, so this is perfect. Oh, it's right on the little harbor. How cute is this place? You're happy? Good find, Sid. I just like saw the patio when we were going by. So I've been seeing this on the menu at a couple of different places we've gone to. I thought it was called the Quahog, that's what I'm calling it. It's called Quahog and basically it's a stuffed clam with breadcrumbs and bell peppers and onions. And I just said, you know what, I need to try it. So they have a singular one on the menu. I guess they are serving it with butter and lemon, but we're gonna have to do a little taste test. I don't even know if I like clams, so we're gonna try it. Do some lemon, because I feel like you gotta do the lemon when they give you the lemon. <laughs> I'm not gonna start with putting butter on it. I wanna try it butter-free first. Okay, first little bite. Cheers. Actually, it's pretty good. It's gonna taste like, uh, kinda like a crab cake, kinda just like you're eating seafood. I don't know how else to describe it. Would I order it as my main? No. Would I have it again, my boo? I'm glad I tried it. <laughs> you want a bite? Sure, I'll try that. Alright, let me give it a little bit more. Open up! <laughs> Cindy's not a big fishy tasting it's seafood good. girl. Yeah? Tastes like stuffing. Yeah, right? Like stuffing that's a little fishy. That's a good way to put it, stuffing. So, there's there's the quahog. Alrighty, I got shrimp and scallop skewers. Cindy got shrimp skewers. We both got them. I mean, I didn't know it came with coleslaw, but with rice. <laughs> and these are our dinners. A delicious dinner, and now we have a 20 minute car ride back to Dennis where we're staying. And we're gonna go back to the hotel and kind of have a chill night. I mean, it's only 7.30, but we were like. I was exhausted. Yeah. The sun like kills you. It takes it out of you. So he said, we're gonna have a chill night in, get some good sleep, because tomorrow, and in another vlog, we have another road trip. So we're not just staying on the Cape this whole time, so you're gonna have to subscribe down below so you don't miss that video. Okay, I'm gonna stop being cheesy. We're gonna get back to the hotel. We're back at the hotel. I just took a shower and put on my jammies, and I'm going to get the pictures that I took today with the Cape Cod chips off of this camera onto my phone via my computer and just look at a couple things. My hair looks crazy. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with it tomorrow I literally just washed it last night. But today was so fun. The Cape has been so fun. I didn't film our day on the Cape yesterday because it started super early. I was driving most of the day. Same thing with tomorrow. Honestly, I'll be driving. So maybe I'll have Sydney film some clips because I want to really just try and document our experience together. I've never really done New England. We're obviously right now still in Massachusetts, which I've been to. But tomorrow we're going to Rhode Island, which is my first time there. And I just kind of want to document the experience, bring you guys along on a little bit more. Maybe have a realistic travel for you, this New England road trip. Maybe to inspire you for this end of the summer or the beginning of next year or something like that because Massachusetts gets pretty cold so I think you'd probably want to do the Cape in the summer. I'm gonna kind of bring you around show you all my recommendations. I'm in these cute little sailboat PJs from Z Supply. I love them and again just gonna work on getting some photos off, finish up my Instagram stories. I do post Instagram stories and when I'm on trips especially when I have two solo days by myself on this New England road trip and Sydney has to go to work in those two days that I will be solo so I am posting a day behind so I'm posting Provincetown to today and tomorrow I will post today's stuff just because when I'm actually solo traveling like I just like to be a day behind for my own safety just for everything like that that's the goal that's the plan to get up the rest of Instagram stories from yesterday I think there were like 36 pictures or something that I had edited and gotten ready for Instagram stories so there's plenty of content happening over on my other social medias too anyway I'm going to work on getting some stuff done and then we're going to head to bed we'll probably take a little bit of an earlier night tonight so that we can just get like started on tomorrow and get heading over to Rhode Island so so I will see you guys before I go to bed. Oh, I've been sitting in bed and getting some stuff done, but now I'm going to take out my contacts and brush my teeth and get to sleep. And I'm sure that you guys have no interest in watching me do any of that. <laughs> 
But thank you guys for following along with our time on the Cape and we are headed to Rhode Island tomorrow. I'm so excited. We're celebrating Sydney's birthday in Rhode Island and it looks like tomorrow is really going to be our only good day there. So I think we're going to try and get to bed so we can get up and get on our way. I think it's like an hour and a half, two hour drive to get over there. So big day tomorrow. Lots to do. I'll be vlogging all of that to so make sure that you are following along so you don't miss any of that. I hope that you kind of enjoyed coming on the day with us today, going to the beach, exploring Chatham, going over to Hyannis and just kind of seeing everything. So I love you guys so much. This is just the beginning of our East Coast New England summer road trip. Like I said, some of those days will be by myself. So we're just going to have such a fun time together this summer and for the next week and a half. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you're new here and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.